tutorial we will see what SOAP is. SOAP is basically the messages that are exchanged in a web service interaction. So let's say that there is a receiver which has hosted the web service. Once a server hosts the web service, it exposes the detail of the web service using a whistle. So what sender does is basically it goes and look into the whistle and looking into the whistle it can know about everything about the web service. So it will know where the web service is located and things like that. But at the moment let's concentrate on SOAP. So w once uh, the sender looks into the whistle it can know that what kind of messages it has to send to the receiver and what it will get into the, in the response back. So the kind of messages that are exchanged between sender and receiver, they are represented by SOAP. So we say that a sender will receive a SOAP request and it will receive a SOAP response. Let's just make quickly make a web service and see that how that it works. So we'll use the SOAP UI tool for that and we will use one of the web services that is hosted in the net. So we take this whistle and we go here and say new SOAP UI project. Let's give it a name it's a temperature converter web service so we can give it a name and then we give the location of the whistle remember the sender has to look into the whistle to know how to invoke the web service and then we say ok so once we do that the SOAP UI will load the whistle and then you can see here that SOAP UI has exposed all the web services that can be called on the receiver. So here let's invoke this web service which converts Celsius to Fahrenheit. So we double click on this request and it will open up another window. Now here you see this is the request that has to be sent to the receiver. So once we can put a value here and send the web service now you get the response back and it has converted this into the Fahrenheit temperature. So what SOAP is? Now this is SOAP, the request that has been sent and if you look here we can look into the namespaces so you can see that it's basically a SOAP envelope that means it is a SOAP 1.1 version and the important parts of the SOAP here is that it has got a SOAP envelope element inside which is contains a SOAP header there is no header here and then it contains a SOAP ENV body and the body contains the actual payload or the message similarly you can see this envelope the body and the actual payload so now let's little bit see how the SOAP travels on the wire so for that we will look into the HTTP log so if you look into the HTTP log see here this is a HTTP post. So you see post all the HTTP headers here and the actual SOAP message residing inside that HTTP payload and that is how it travels over the wire. So hopefully this tutorial is helpful to you.